did my makeup for the day and now it's time to move on to hair my hair is still kind of curled from yesterday obviously it's fallen out a ton because my hair is really thin and it does not hold anything to save its life so i have to like hairspray the hell out of it i'm really excited to try out this new little piece from insert name here it's kind of like a half up half down look so that's what we're going for today i actually haven't worn my hair like that in so long back a few years ago i did love to wear my hair like this a lot so i'm really excited to try out this hairstyle again but with some brand new extension pieces so time to get this hair looking much better and to match the makeup look. I always just feel so weird when I have my makeup done and my hair just still looks a mess, but this is my natural hair. You hardly ever see it like this because I wear extensions basically 24 seven because my hair just doesn't complement anything. You know what I mean? It's just kind of flat, not much going on with it. I love the color of my hair. So I got that going for myself and this is going to be perfect to match my blonde. This is in their shade Champagne Blonde and I believe I get that shade in every other extension piece that I've tried from them before on my channel. So if you haven't seen those videos, go and watch those because I have some good tutorials on different little hair pieces that they have that really just transforms your look. So that's what we're about to do now. So I think the first step is to section off the top of my hair that I know is going to be up in the ponytail for that half up, half down kind of vibe. So let's do that first. I'm going to figure out how I want this ponytail on the top here and it looks like I'm not wearing anything, but I am, I promise. I only want to bring up just a little bit and it doesn't have to be perfect because the ponytail that we're going to be putting up here around my actual ponytail will cover all of this as well. So it should work either way, but I'm just gonna try to do as little hair up here as possible. I can't decide if I'm gonna want bangs down here or not at all. I think back when I would do this hairstyle, I did it with bangs, I kinda like that, especially cause my hair is super blonde up here. My mom does like the little money pieces on my hair up in the front here, which I think is really flattering to bring some brightness to the face. Cause you know, my roots are kind of dark. Also yesterday was the first day I, I've curled my hair and I'm not even kidding, like months. Ever since I got my insert name here, EU clip extension piece, I don't ever have to do anything to my hair. Okay, that was terrible, but it should work. I have not seen my hair like this in so long and I'm like, wait, this is a vibe. Once I put in all the extension pieces, it's gonna look so bomb. Uh, but what I was saying is I actually haven't curled my hair in like months because once I got my U-clip extension piece and it's just straight, I'll link that one down below for you as well. And I also have a tutorial on how I do that. It's like the easiest method ever. But I wear that one pretty much all the time because it requires me to not do anything to my hair. Like I don't really have to put heat on it. So I feel like that is a big factor in helping my hair grow. Um, a little bit longer because I'm trying to get it pretty long right now. I recently, well not recently, I would say like maybe two years ago, I cut my hair like all the way up here so short. I loved it, but now I'm just like wanting my hair super long again. You know, you always want what you don't have. So this is the starting look of how you want your hair to be. And then you can go ahead and start putting the extensions in. So I actually have not taken this out of the bag at all yet so this is literally a first review for you and me this is so much hair look at these spiral waves my hair has never ever looked like this i've never tried a style of extension like this before so this should be really cool i love how it already comes pre-styled like this so you don't have to do anything to it you can just further brush the loose spiral waves out if you would like and then it also comes with two little bobby pins because this is the ponytail part of the half up half down thing so this is what's going to wrap around my ponytail up here and then it comes with like i was saying the three other wefts this has a little hair net on it as well to kind of keep it all together like look at all this hair i'm so excited 
to throw this in is gonna be like a total transformation i love that i love playing with the extension pieces i've been wearing extensions for years and i just love the insert name here ones they make doing different hairstyles so achievable and affordable as well so you got this four weft and you have a three weft and then you have another smaller three weft so this is the one that's going to go down first at the nape of my neck then a little bit bigger and then a little bit bigger so i'm just going to bring this to the front i'm going to start by putting this smallest one at the base of my neck down here and i'm just gonna part this up where my clip go so then just using any clip i'm going to clip that hair out of the way so i just have a little bit of hair in the back here so it doesn't have to be precise in any way you just want to have enough hair down here that that first extension can clip down as low as possible so if you want you can just take your little comb and tease that hair that's left down there and that kind of helps the weft stick to your real hair better so this is the first one i'm going to kind of brush through it a little bit this feels so nice and it looks so real and this is synthetic fiber so it's not even real human hair and how did they do this this looks so amazing nice and bouncy and like fresh looking and another thing i love about insert name here is their wefts these little comey things those are called wefts and they're really durable so once you put them into your head they just stay there's no unclipping of them no moving around they, they just really stay in place so i'm just going to take that and clip it right at the base so there we have the first oh my gosh these are so long i'm pretty sure this is 18 inches of hair so such a good length as well so then that is what it looks like in the back okay so now i'm going to unclip the hair and then do that again so clipping this up and out of the way then we'll use this next larger three weft brush through this a little bit unclip that and now finally onto the last one so this is the last largest one just add such a fun unique different style which i'm all for different and trying new looks i mean check out the ends of this this is so good okay now for this pony part we have our last little wrap and then it's just velcro all throughout so this little weft goes into your ponytail here sets on top like this and then you can just wrap this around the velcro and i like how this feels very lightweight because you know you don't have as much hair as like a typical if you're doing like the whole ponytail so it's nice that this is lighter and won't pull on your hair so much. So now we're just going to take that little weft and put it at the base. Make sure this is nice and tight already. And put this at the base of the ponytail. And then we'll start to wrap it. So then once you get the pony wrapped around, you can just use a bobby pin to secure that in place. And obviously use as many bobby pins as you feel necessary. I feel like I usually use quite a bit just because I really want it to stay in place. I don't want to worry about it moving around or anything. This is so much hair, I don't even know what to do with myself. I mean, this is truly iconic. But see what I was talking about? Like this ponytail is nice and full. So if your hair in the back didn't fully cover the extensions, laying this ponytail over the top will totally disguise any of the wefts. It's crazy how much volume they can add to that because 
it's really lightweight like it doesn't feel like a typical classic ponytail where it's super tight in here and like heavy and weighing it down it's like they mastered volume while still being really lightweight at the same time and obviously it's because the spiral waves give more of that voluminous look which i'm all here for i've never had my hair look like this i am a whole new person like can we insert a before of my hair and now this so as you could tell this was a four piece application set it had the three wefts and then the ponytail so you have a good amount of wefts for the price that you pay and the volume is amazing you have really good length 18 inches and if you do ever need to touch up the waves at all it is heat resistant only up to 320 degrees fahrenheit so make sure any of your styling ones are that degree or lower just to ensure that you keep the health of this synthetic fiber in good shape. So I feel like this is a really good extension set to have because you have endless opportunities with this kind of hairstyle. You could just use the little mini ponytail and just do that without the three wefts or you can do the three wefts without the ponytail, kind of switch up the look a little bit so you don't have to use all the pieces if you don't want to. So if you're not feeling the half up, half down, but you like these loose spiral waves, you can just use the wefts or just use the ponytail. I just feel so much more glam with this hair piece in and it just really transforms the makeup and a cute outfit. Just really ties it all in together so nicely. So I hope this little tutorial today was super easy for you to follow along and if you do end up buying this hairpiece or any of the other items on the insert name here website, don't forget to use my discount code. I'll leave it on the screen here as well as in the description box below for you so you can get some money off of your order. And be sure to let me know in the comments below what you think of this hairstyle, if you'll be trying it out for yourself or just your opinion about it in general. I would love to hear your feedback. So I hope you're having an amazing day and that you had fun watching this little video today and I will see you in my next one.